Are you looking for a tool that will guide you with suggestions on how to improve your SEO writing? In this video, I will be testing and reviewing Surfer's Content Editor Tool and SEMrush's SEO Writing Assistant Tool. At the end of this video, I will give you my verdict on which one is better. So with that said, let's get started. All right, so let's just say, let's go to this blog. Let's just say, you know, we want to create a blog article around lavender essential oil benefits. Okay, so say for example, you know, we want to build out an article like this. All right, so lavender essential oil benefits is our core keyword. And if you go to Surfer under their content editor, uh, this is how it looks like, and you can get SEO guidelines for your next awesome page. So you put your keyword here, you select the country, mobile, desktop, NLP, and you can choose settings. So you could choose what which NLP provider, you could choose Google's NLP, API, or Surfers. And, um, you know, you have to uh, spend one content editor credit and one NLP credit if you want to add that. And once you put the keyword, you just click on create content editor and all of your history will be listed here. And so we can click on lavender essential oil benefits. So this is how it looks like. So you have all of this white space to write your content and you can you know choose the headings, bold, links, images, quotes, uh, you know, right here, you could put your HTML or whatever code you want there, so on and so forth. And first, I want to go to the customize gear because it will basically give you recommendations according to your organic competitors. So these are the top 10 competitors for the keyword lavender essential oil benefits. And you could see their content score, their authority, and how many words. So Surfer selected these five, and they selected it because of the content score, right? So the content score is high. You'll notice that most of these competitors have a huge authority. So that tells me right off the bat that Lavender Essential Oil Benefits is gonna be extremely hard to rank for. So let's just say we want to keep these competitors and it will give you the content structure. So how many words you should be using. You could even do it by characters if you want, but words is much better. So I need to write a lot of words. I need to write over 3000. I need to have 24 headings, 34 paragraphs and seven images. These are the terms to use. So Surfer extracts prominent words and phrases for your primary main query. You can add or remove them from the list. So these are all the different terms that you should be uh, adding to your body copy. You can mark this term to be used as a heading. Okay, so these are all terms you need to be using as a heading. Uh, you can also uncheck any that you don't want. All right, so say for example, I want lavender essential oils. That's a good keyword, so I wanna add that as a heading, so you, then you could add the H. You can even ignore the term too. So menopause, hot flushing, that's not, so I'm gonna click the ignore term icon to ignore it, so it won't include that. You could just filter by NLP, and then any ignored terms will be listed here, okay? And, and so yeah, so you could see the green. So these are the must include. These ones are the less important ones that you need to include. And then it goes on and on and on. Topics and questions. So these are all of the topics and questions. So under people also ask, these are pulled from the Google people also ask box. So you can create headlines or answer these questions. These are um, the competitors okay used by competitors so all of these topics from competitors you should be um, focusing on writing about and according to surfer 
these are the types of topics and questions you should be writing about. So there's over 300 to choose from. And then you could do custom topics too, right? So lavender and, and soap or something like that, right? So, and then add notes. So you can add notes for yourself or give it to your, um, into your writer. So if you have a copywriter, you can send this over to them and then they can follow all of this information and read your notes. So you click on let's go at the bottom right and this is the content score. So ideally you wanna shoot for the green range. It marks how many words you're, you're using, how many headings, paragraphs, images, and these are all of the terms. There's a lot of terms these are the headings you should be using, and then the NLP terms. Okay, so let's just, I'm just gonna copy and paste, and just to see what happens. I'm just gonna copy and paste, so you could see you know, the content score improving. So this is gonna be my H1, oops, H1 here. And then I'm gonna just copy all of this, just to give you an idea of how how the content score changes over time. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna paste it. Okay, look at that. My content score is a 53. And look it, so you could see all of the green, so that means I'm mentioning it, and then you can kind of uh, highlight you know, where they are, right? So if you hover over it, you can see, let's see, let me give you an example. Okay, yep, so if you click on it, it highlights lavender essential oil benefits. So I'm using it, I'm using it way too much, so I need to reduce this. For lavender oil, I highlight that. I used it 12 times, but I need to use it at least 28 times. And there's different examples of how you could use the keyword, all right? And yeah, so, so I need to, I have a lot of work to do here. Headings, so it looks like I have most of my keywords in my headings, but there's a couple that I still need to add to my headings. And then NLP, I have a lot of work to do to add NLP words into my body copy. Okay, topics, we need to talk about topics, and then notes, right, for your, yourself or for your content writer. And then you can share, you can share this with anyone. And also, Surfer does have a Google Docs extension, so you don't need to use the actual tool. You could just write in Google Docs and you can have all of this information here at your fingertips on Google Docs. All right, so this is how the content editor works. Now with, all right, so on SEMrush, uh, you can use their SEO writing assistant. So first you need to, under content marketing dashboard, uh, under SEO content template, you need to add your target keyword, country, and then select create SEO template. And then once you create the SEO template, that's where you can go to your SEO writing assistant. And it'll, it'll kind of give you already connected templates. So I added this earlier. So lavender essential oil benefits. You have the keyword that you're targeting with the overall score. I didn't write anything, so it says poor, zero out of 10. And then you can click on Sem open in SEMrush to start writing, or you can even send to your marketing calendar. Say for example, maybe next month you wanna focus on this, so you can add it to your calendar. But let's click on open in SEMrush. So this is how the SEO writing assistant looks like. So you, know, you can do your H1s, H2s, links, bullets, and start writing to get the score. So it shows you the readability and the SEO score, originality, tone of voice. Okay, so, and it has, you know, different words you should be using. So my target keyword is lavender essential oil benefits, add recommended words, adding links, enrich your text with images, tone of voice, originality, so get the total percentage and number of copied words and identify content sources. So this is great because you can check to see if you are, if, you know, if say for example, your copywriter gave you content, you could check to see the originality and things like that. So 
let's just say I'm just going to copy and paste all of this just to give you an idea of how it looks like. So I copied that. Look at so it's good. 6.7 out of a 10. So tonal voice is good, SEO is good, but the readability and the originality, readability needs some work. Originality will stay at zero because you need to actually check for the originality. So let me, actually let me go here. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this over here. Now let's see. All right, so the score went higher, 7.8 out of 10. So it says, your text is longer than the text of your best performing competitors. Consider shortening it. So when you click on that, plain language, the difficulty of your text corresponds to eighth and eighth and ninth grade. Okay, words. So it looks like I have a little too many words. Title issues no title issues, content issues. So I need to split long paragraphs and it tells you which paragraphs to split. So I need to split this one, this one, right? All sentences are easy to read. Your text is written in simple and easy to understand language. So let's just say I'm gonna split this. I'm gonna split this like that and then maybe do that. So see, it goes away. And then your content score, Let's see if it improves. I'm just gonna split it for you just to see how it looks like. And then, all right. Okay, so no content issues and the readability is still 7.8 or the overall score, but it's good because you could actually see, you know, there's no content issues. And tone of voice, it's neutral, consistency, most casual sentences, you can, uh, you know, fix that. Most formal sentences, SEO, so these are words. Effects of lavender, so you can add that here and then it'll turn green. Lavender reduce. Add that, it'll turn green. And then your score will go higher, right? So, and then it says alt attributes, your images have alt attributes, link issues, title issues. Good, so originality. Let's see if I can check this. This might take a while, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so originality is not good but that's because it found, I basically copied and pasted it. So it works, it works. So if you wanna check to see if your copywriter is just copying and pasting, you could use this tool to check originality. Okay, so it did find it and, and it'll tell you the source. So really, really powerful stuff here. And then you could switch layout too. So you could switch it to this layout where you could kind of see everything or you could switch a layout here where it's kind of like in the card format so that's how the semrush seo writing assistant works so what's my verdict what's my verdict on which one is better both are good in terms of the overall ux ui i like surfers the ux is so good the ui is easy with SEMrush, you kind of need to create the SEO content template first and then be able to write the SEO writing assistant. So there's a couple of steps. But here, you just put in your keyword and you know put in your competitors and it'll give you all of these suggestions. So you get your content score, you get all of these lists of terms you need to use, topics, so on and so forth. So it's really, it's just much more easier to type on uh, with SEMrush, you know, it's smaller, it's hard. I would prefer writing on Surfer's site rather than SEMrush's site. But you get different data, right? So you get SEO information, like alt attribute is link issues, readability is really important, content issues, like maybe too long paragraphs. 
So SEMrush is saying that I had a lot of long paragraphs, but Surfer didn't tell me that. Surfer did not tell me that, but SEMrush did. And SEMrush also checks for originality, while Surfer does not give you originality. So you get some things in Surfer that you don't in SEMrush and vice versa, right? So if I were to choose I would choose Surfer over SEMrush simply because there's just a lot of really good information that's really tied to your competitors. SEMrush does give you, it does check against your competitors, but it doesn't really tell you which competitors. It just says, you know, your rivals. But here you have a lot more control over which competitors you should be checking against. So you have a lot more control while SEMrush just kind of gives you the recommendations and you just need to follow it. But if you were to ask me, well, will you get results? I think you will get results for both tools. If you use SEMrush's tool, you will get an improvement in your rankings. If you use Surfer, obviously you will. Um, but if I had to choose, I would use Surfer. But in an ideal setting, I would probably use maybe use Surfer first and then copy and paste it onto SEMrush just to make sure you have the other readability and SEO elements set on your page and also originality, right? So I would use both just to really, really make sure that the content that you are producing is going to rank because you spend a lot of time, you might as well audit it and use tools to help you um, write your SEO content. So. Um, I like both of these tools. Both serve their own purposes and have their own data, but I think the data on both are really good. So with that said, hopefully you thought this was helpful. I will see you on the next video.